Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in today's video, we are going to be painting step-by-step -step this awesome Red Hood helmet from Villainous Prop Shop. This is part three in the series. We are gonna take this helmet from now it's finished and sanded and primed into a final paint. It is gonna look super awesome. I cannot wait. Now, before you actually start painting your helmet, you wanna make sure you follow the steps in the previous video to finish it and get it to this nice glossy glass-like surface that will really, really take the paint. The next thing is you need to remember to use the same family of paints. So what do I mean by that? Now, I know I wanna use this uh, metal cast dupla color red. It's a great helmet color for Red Hood and it has instructions. It needs to be uh, applied over chrome to give it that really metallic look. But here's the key thing. Don't put it over any chrome, put it over another dupla color chrome. Keep your family of paints the same. This way you're not gonna have reactions and orange peeling or cracking. You don't want that. You put a lot of work into it. So use the same family of paints. And of course, when you're done with all these, when we've put it, given it the chrome and we've given it the metallic top coat, we then want to give it a clear coat to protect all that and to really make it shine. And you might have guessed it, yes, use the same family of paint. So this is a dupla color, high gloss, clear coat, and we're gonna put this on last. So I know I said you should never mix your paint types, but there is an exception, and that is if you do a test. So what I did was I did the spoon test. This is a really popular way to do this in testing your spray paints. And I went ahead and put a different base coat down, some metallics and non-metallics, and then I went over it with the metal cast in these spoons. And then in these two spoons, I did a test on whether or not I was going to use a gloss clear coat or a matte clear coat. And let's go ahead and take a look at how these look and what paint I actually chose for the final paint job. Okay, so this spoon has a base of chrome. This one is using a white. This one is a base of gold primer and red. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna compare them against the base gold, that's on the right. So this is a white paint and you can see it's very vibrant but there's no metallic look. Now this one is using the primer, it's much uh, deeper color because primer is gray, but again, it's missing that metallic look like the gold one has. And this is against a cherry red, again, very nice red, but no metallic because it needs that base coat. So let's look at it with the chrome. Now this is what I used before, but looking at it with the gold, I am just loving the warmth and the, just the feel and look of gold. So that's what I'm gonna use for this helmet is the gold. Now we decide finish, do we go glossy or matte? I was gonna do gloss, but my son said, you already have a gloss helmet, go matte, and that's the way I'm going to go. So we're putting down our gold base. Now again, I did a test with the spoon, so I know that this Rust-Oleum gold won't interact negatively with the Dupla color, but remember, always do a test or stay in the same family. I did get too close though, and there are some runs. So I'm gonna show you how to fix those. It's really simple. You get a high grit sandpaper, and I think I'm using like a 400 or a 600, and I'm just getting rid of that run and around that area. Then I give it another coat of the gold, and then I get ready for or the top coat. And that's what we're doing now. And this is that metal cast dupla color red. It is very finicky. Do very light coats, wait about 30 seconds in between each and just do light, light coats because it will run very, very easily. I also have the helmet face up because that's where all those little edges and everything are that can catch runs. Now, if you get a run, do the same thing I just did earlier. Light sandpaper, take it out and start over. Okay, now it's clear coat time, and again, stay eight to 10 inches away, whatever the can says, and give it light, even coats. It's gonna go on, you know, wet looking. Of course, I went with the matte, but it looks glossy. Once it dries, it mats right up, and it looks pretty cool. So once that is done, we're gonna go on to one of the, you know, more fun parts of the build, and that is doing some detail work. So Red Hood has these, you know, really cut ins into his uh, helmet. So I'm using a really fine brush with some acrylics to just get into all these edges. Now, if you get a little bloop outside there, use a cloth or your finger to wipe that away and you can take care of it that way. Now, you also have to remember when you're working on this, there isn't just the bottom gully, there are the sides of the pieces. So make sure like this little bit here, I had to make sure you cut that away too because if you didn't, you'd see some red in that area. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to tackle the eyes. I wanted a little bit thicker brush and again just using my acrylics to lay this in. If you're interested in any of the things I use to build and to use to paint the Red Hood helmet, go ahead and look in the description below. I love these paints because they will go ahead and just put in uh, one pass and you very rarely need second coats. It's Vallejo paints. And I've got a little wider brush and I'm just pulling the paint along the line where I want it. I don't want to go over that ridge line. I want to stay right underneath it so that it really accentuates the line, but it doesn't go past it. And again, take your time. This isn't something you want to rush. Could you wash it away at this point? Yes. Uh, you get a paper towel, dampen a little bit, but at the same time, you know, if you get too much black on there and you don't take it away fast enough, you will definitely uh, have some problems. So take your time, lay the paint down, and it'll look super sharp when you are all set. And I'm going to actually take this and put it in my lap and work on some of these little tricky corners. And this is how it turns out. Again, once it dries up, it'll be a nice matte look to it. And I really like that. And Here's both eyes done. Red Hood Helmets look so awesome. I totally agree. Do you? Yes, yeah, see, he agrees. So I am super happy with how this finish turned out. My son, it was his idea. I said, I'm going to go glossy. He said, you already have a glossy one. You want to try matte? Try the matte one. And I am so happy I did. It still looks metallic, but it has this sheen to it that just really catches the light and brings out all the contours of this villainous prop shop helmet. Uh, I'm so, so happy with it. Now, in the next video, we're going to be working on the fit part of it. So there's a little bit of room to it, right, so that we can get it on comfortably. We saw that in the first video. But how do we attach this back plate so that we can wear the helmet and it doesn't sort of bobble around on us? That is what we're going to be doing in the next video. I can't wait. And then there's a couple more videos after that, taking this helmet all the way from a raw print to a finished helmet with LED and weathered and fit and finish. I'm really having a lot of fun with this video. I hope you guys are enjoying them. If you are, please like and subscribe and or just, you know, look out for the next video. I really appreciate it, guys. Take it easy and have a great day.